The GDT was an important step in establishing terminology as a research field in its own right, but was also criticized for several reasons. If we look at authentic examples of specialized communication, people use and will continue using different terms to refer to the same concept. Moreover, GTT presupposes that concepts as units of knowledge are shared and to a large extent universal, whereas we know today that concepts are in fact dynamic, rather fluid and certainly culturally bound. From a linguistic point of view, it is also insufficient and sometimes futile to describe lexical units in isolation without considering the contexts and communicative settings they appear in.